Do you do regular maintenance at home and in your car? I bet you do. Well, your tech devices need the same TLC and benefit from regular maintenance. Cleaning up your devices also frees up space on your iPhone, iPad, and laptop and desktop. Stay tuned to the end to see how you can access my digital downloads and learn more. My name is Karen and I make videos to help people get the most out of their Apple tech. Here are my recommended maintenance tips for your Apple devices. Let's dive in. Open up your Photos app to get rid of old photos, duplicate photos, and anything else that's cluttering up your device. So let's open up our Photos and go to the bottom and look for duplicates. We'll start with that. And where we see duplicates, we'll have a choice of deleting them or merging them. So I'm going to merge these. And when I merge them, I'm automatically saving right away one and a half megabytes. So merge them. I'll merge another. I'll merge another. I'll merge another. And now I'm done with that end. So if there are some screenshots you don't need, just press select and check off the ones you don't need and then press delete. And there you go. You can look at your imports. Maybe uh, you don't need them anymore. I can select any imports I don't need and press select, select, and press the garbage can on the bottom, and then those are deleted. One thing you can do is make a habit of going to your photos, maybe weekly, and just getting rid of any old screenshots, and selfies, any videos you don't need. Regular texting and sharing through messages can fill up your iPhone with lots of attachments, and this can slow down your device. By managing these attachments effectively, you can free up plenty of space for new photos that you take later. How to find large attachments on your iPhone. Open up Settings and go to General. Scroll down to iPhone Storage, and let's start with reviewing large attachments. It's telling me I can save about three gigs. Uh, you can look at what's there, and just so you know, if I delete something from a message, if I have not added it to my photos, then it's gone. But many times you add something to your Photos app and it stays in messages. So you're going to have to keep track of that. So I'm going to go through here and show you how to delete something. So I'm, I don't need this anymore. I'm going to slide it to the left till I see the delete and let go. And now it's gone. Now you also have the opportunity to delete old conversations. I don't have that on because I don't want to delete my old conversations automatically. I'll delete them manually. Now the next thing to do is scroll down to messages right here. And in messages, there are are documents, data, old conversations. But if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you're gonna see photos, videos, and GIFs or GIFs and stickers. I'm gonna start there. I don't need all these. I'm going to just slide and delete them. They take up a lot of space. Now, if you have one that you like, like maybe you like this one, you can press the share box and you can add it to your photos, save image, will add it to your photo, okay? Once you've done that, you can take it away from your messages, okay? So just go through all your GIF, GIFs or GIFs, go through this list and deleting them will free up a lot of space. The next thing we're gonna do is look at videos. And again, if you've taken the video with your own iPhone and then you share it in a message, then you have two copies, one in messages and one in photos. So if you know you don't need it anymore, then go ahead and delete it by sliding to the left and press delete, just like that. Slide to the left, press delete. We're deleting, uh, we're looking at where all the opportunities are to free up space. I can go down to messages this way by clicking on messages and then I want to press on uh, top conversations and then I can see conversations by people. So to free up space on your iPhone in messages, find a contact that you've had a lot of message with and at the top of the screen under the circle, press their name and then you'll go down and you'll see photos. 
press see all, press select, and you can select all the things you want to clear out and then press delete. And that will save some space on your phone. When you use messages in iCloud, all of your text messages you send and receive are stored in iCloud storage. You can make more space available when you delete old texts and the attachments that were in those texts that you don't need anymore. So long as the attachments have previously been saved to either photos or files, deleting the attachments will not affect the actual file or photo. You still have it. There's no need to have it twice. Another way to free up some space on your device is to move apps from your home screen into the app library or to delete them altogether if you no longer need them. Let me show you how. If I press on an app, I have a choice of editing the home screen, sharing the app, or removing the app. I'm going to press remove app, and then I have another menu. I can either delete the app, which means it won't be available at all, or I can remove it from the home screen. Removing from the home screen will save some space. So I'll press remove from home screen. And then if I want to find it, all I have to do is go to my app library and then I can find it. I have it right there. So that's number one, go through your device and any apps that you do not to need to see visually on your home screen, do that. And that will not only clear up some space, but your iPhone won't be so messy. If you want to completely delete the app, so it's not in your library, not on your home screen, then press delete app. That will save space also, but keep in mind that you will lose the data that is associated with the app. This has been a quick video to show you how to free up space on your device. If you found my video helpful, please take a moment to press the like button, subscribe for more videos, and tell me in the comments what video you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching. <laughs>